Okay, so I've taken uh, the lens that we just designed, I've removed all of the uh, single source rays, and I've put the source file that represents our Cree LED back in here so that we can see the real ray tracing from this uh, source. And so I'm tracing a million rays. So let me just clear and trace that million rays. And that's just under three seconds for a million rays through this uh, component. And you can see, first of all, spatially what the um, uh, distribution looks like. Uh, and I'm using inverse false color here so that the dark regions are actually the brightest uh, regions. And you can see that spatially I've got this bright central core and then I've got a darker region out here at the edges. And you can see this here as a cross section through that. There's my bright central core and there's the uh, uh, outer uh, edges of that. Here I have the angular distribution of the light, and you'll see that this has now got a half angle of about 4 degrees. And that's come down from a half angle of about 50 degrees uh, initially. And there's effectively no light going on beyond you know, 12 degrees or, or so, but you know, a half angle of 4 degrees is, is not at all bad. There's a lot more I could do. Uh, in refining this design. In particular, I could come up with a more complex shape here and probably in some other videos that we'll do, we'll, dem we'll investigate uh, showing you how to do that. Uh, but I'm going to say that for the, the purposes of this demonstration, what we've done is gone from our initial pure LED to just a, a very simple uh, two component design for a collimator lens and in the final video I'll show how we take these two components here and make a single part out of them so that we can give this to an injection molder and actually have the, the part made.